Hey YouTube, Tom with TK Designs here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Oklahoma Sooners stemless wine glass. This is a frosted mug with the OU logo imprinted on the front. So let's get at it. <laughs> Okay, since the uh, stemless wine glass has kind of an egg shape, we're not going to be able to use one of the rotary attachments. We're going to actually use the rotary attachment that's designed for doing completely round objects with the RA2 Pro. Okay, so we're going to start by inserting our cup into our rotary chuck, getting it a little bit tight. And we're going to push it up against and lock it down into place. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to check our level. Because we want to engrave basically in this area from about here to here. So we're going to put our up on top and we need to come up this way so we're gonna slide that up actually have that braced underneath so there we go we're all level now now we can make the adjustments on the laser okay so here we are in the next tool creative space and here I have a picture that is of the Oklahoma Sooners logo turned sideways. I put it in a box. And the box has a height of 303, which matches our perimeter of our wine glass, and a width of 80, which is about the amount of engravable space. I've situated the logo towards the top here because that's where I want to uh, do the engraving. If we were doing a, a full path engraving around the entire glass, we have all this area to work with within that. All right. Uh, this particular box, I'm not going to be burning. So I have it set on output turned off. For the logo, I'm going to do that at 80% power and 150 millimeters per second in grayscale using 200 lines per centimeter. So now what we want to do is we want to line up our laser. And to do that, we are going to slide the laser over to where we want to begin the engraving. In this case, we put that about 20 millimeters down. So we'll look approximately, and that's approximately 20 millimeters down. Now I need to make sure that my laser is aligned with the glass. So I'm going to use my align tool. Turn it on. Line it up. And it looks like we're good. So we turn that just a little bit more over this way so that I'm near the edge of my tape. Ah, moved it, so let's re-level it. Okay. Ah. Level that up to about there. And now we can frame, do our framing or move our object, slide it up, 
then we're going to line it up right on that crosshair. Then we can do our framing. We press our button, and this is our engraving area. So we should be good to go there. So now that the framing is complete, we can close the lid of the laser. And we'll go ahead and go to process. And this says it's going to take about seven minutes. And let's go ahead and begin. Send that to the laser. Press our start button. And here we go. And let's go ahead and begin. Send that to the laser. Press our start button. And here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the laser. And it looks like we get a nice clean engrave there. So let's open that up. our tool and there we have it let's get it uh, rinsed off and see how it looks okay so as we can see it's a really good engrave nice and clean Thanks for watching, and here are some other videos I think you might enjoy from the channel.